Welcome back, welcome back. Uh, yeah, I missed yesterday because of my allergies. I warned you that may happen, but I'm back. Um, we're going to be doing Advent Calendar Day 14 and 15 today. So, starting off with 14, we have Undivided Pinot Noir. And... Let's see, vintage is 2021. So this is a French wine. Hmm. So we'll see. We'll see how it tastes and how it smells. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Let's see here. So this undivided Pinot Noir is actually $14.99. So out of all the bunches so far, I think this is the most expensive. I haven't heard of this brand, so we'll see how it smells and how it tastes. So, so far, I do not <laughs> like the smell of it. It's kind of got a, um, it's kind of like a sour, wet cardboard <laughs> smell. I don't know how to explain it. So hopefully the taste is a little bit better. This one is okay. This is gonna be the first um, dry one of the bunch for the red wine. Um, I can taste a little bit of like red fruit, so like um, some kind of berries, like maybe raspberry, possibly plum, if you would consider that like a red fruit, or it might be more of a black fruit, but we'll see. Yeah. So that's going to be a little bit of raspberry, um, we'll say plum. Um, there's a hint, just like a little bit of spice that I'm getting in there. And I read online that um, some people are getting a hint of vanilla. I don't get any vanilla in this. This is really dry. Um, so this one for me is going to be two and a half. Um, is what I'm gonna rate it. I don't know if I buy this again already I'm drinking it right now and just those few little sips kind of giving me a little bit of heartburn. So Yeah, yikes. I don't think I Would buy that one, but again, it's $14.99 undivided Pinot Noir um, I'm gonna move on to 15 which is gonna be I Probably should have started with 15 first I kind of wish they would have set up this advent calendar that it was kind of like um, whites to reds and like, you know, dry to sweet or sweet to dry or whatever. Um, Cause I feel like that sometimes ruins my taste when I start with a red and then I go to a white and maybe that's the reason why some of the, some of the times it doesn't taste that well. But number 15, it's gonna be Grand Sud Sauvignon. And it looks like the vintage is a 2021. Um, let's see how this baby tastes. This one is gonna be 10.99. And we'll see. Let's see how it... Ooh, this smells really good. Very, very citrusy, fruity. A little mixture of both. It smells good. Ooh, that's dry. <laughs> I do like dry wines, but this, you know, it's weird. It tastes more like a Chardonnay and, ooh, this is 0 for 2 for me. So this one is very dry. I did chill it, so I know that's not affecting it, but um, citrus, the, the aromas of it is a little bit like floral, so I... It's got like a flowery smell, but the taste is really dry. It is, it does have a hint of fruit, but it's like a bitter fruit, like lemon or, lemon is the only one I can come up with because <laughs> I don't know any other one that's like citrusy that um, has this flavor, but yeah. Won't taste it one more time. Just to be sure. This I'm going to rate, because it's so dry, um, normally I like dry wines, but I'm actually in the middle for white wines. Like I like Rieslings 
Um, I can handle Moscato every once in a while, but it's just, it's too sweet for me. I used to drink white wines all the time, and then my sister got me um, turned on to drinking red wines, so now I'm more of the dry, semi-dry um, type of drinker. But this one I'm gonna rate probably a one and a half. It wasn't my favorite, um, and I'm comparing this to the other, the, sh the same brand, but the Chardonnay. Um, that was actually much more pleasant and much more um, pleasing to the palate and the nose. So this one, yeah, I'm, mm, yeah, I'm gonna say one and a half. I probably wouldn't buy this again. Um, and <laughs> I actually don't like it um, so much that if someone even were to offer it to me, I probably wouldn't drink it. I'd be like, mm, pass it off to someone who likes it better. But um, that's gonna wrap it up for the two. I will try to get the number 16 done tomorrow. It is my birthday weekend, so I may, I may not, you know, partake in it, but um, we will try to get one out before we head up to Duluth. Um, again, you can get these at Total Wine. The Undivided Pinot Noir is $14.99, and the Grand Sud Sauvignon Blanc is $10.99. So if you would like to try it, that's where you can pick it up. Until next time, I'll see you tomorrow. Peace out.